Hello. I'm joined uh, fresh off main stage by Wynne Kalastrasamy, who is the Senior VP of Innovations at Discovery Networks. Welcome. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. So, Wynne, tell us about what's happening in the creative thinking and the creative space at Discovery Networks. We have some very iconic brands like Animal Planet. Mm -hmm. you know, Discovery as a channel is a, a very iconic brand for us. But the realization between digital and the format that we need to produce, and with the iconic um, you know, pictures like the whale. It's just a, a great summary of how both worlds are converging at a point where right. it's becoming very interesting for us as a, as a content producer. And in terms of customer experience, what are they asking you for? What are they feeding back to you in terms of what gets them excited from a creative standpoint? I think there's one rule that I think we will stand by, which is great content will always fly, mm -hmm. no matter what the format, the length, or what medium where it's on. But I think uh, we also have to admit that, you know, the more content which is just consumed in a, uh, in a smaller kind of screen, like a smart device is, yeah. the less uh, in terms of the, the format and the, the content duration becomes. Right. And for us as a company who's been striving on you know, long form content, you know, the 60 minutes and all that, yeah. to create the same storyline which is compelling in a three minute clip is a challenge. And you've been speaking here a little bit about how um, Adobe's tools have been helping with that. What's been the biggest revelation? I mean, you talked on stage about the relationship between strategy and execution. What's the technology underpinning in that conversation for you? It's a combination of many different, you know, stacks. Oh. Obviously, analytics as a foundation is just providing truth. Yes. Right? It's all about truth. Data is about truth. Yeah. And how do we mine those truth to get to a point where we can actually um, provide insights, relevant insights to, a, let's say, a producer mm -hmm. who is looking at from a from a creative element, yeah. right? Whereas he would actually write a storyboard, which is a 45-minute story or a six to 60-minute storyboard, into confinement, which may become a medium form, which is 15 minutes. Right. It's a very different ways of how you uh, how how you'd actually go about in the creative side. I think it's it's still far fetched that we're going to use a lot of analytics and deep science to kind of create your best long form studio based mm -hmm. content. But I think the signs are becoming much more apparent now, especially the shorter the content itself. Right. We're seeing some really great work uh, internally as well as some partners that we see across the region that uses that data that allows us to be able to really understand what ticks for that market in particular. What's the next step? Um, what are you excited about in terms of, you know, are you thinking about virtual reality experiences? Are you looking at mixed reality? Is that a, a space that Discovery is, is experimenting with? We are known to be doing a lot of VR, yeah. you know, globally. But I think it's really just a tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. because it's all experimentation, sure. right? Um, what keeps me awake and also excited at the same time is that when you're at the pulse of the consumer, you will see growing trends of what's happening. And that's when it really gets exciting that as a content producer, we can actually you know, go into different directions in terms of how we sell, tell stories. And that could be in different formats, in different container itself, yep. and also some, something just so drastic, which is not, well, we don't even know what that is to them. And what's your next step with Adobe? Where do you think that's gonna take you? We don't have the luxury of time to kind of build Absolutely. everything sequentially. So we're doing everything just about uh, in between and we're using some of the strategic investments in content or partnership to be kind of like the alignment to do all this in between mm -hmm. whether that's new distribution models that we are you know we're not used to doing that yeah. or the new partnership that we forge with very different types of partners which are not apparently in here and you know I would say um, known today so those, we're doing a lot of that in, in, in key markets like um, India and China and, and, and Japan for example I think the fact is, you know, we, as an industry, we have lost our kind of control over how cons uh, consumers consume content. Yes. But the great thing about that, it also opens up limitless opportunity to really reinvent ourselves as a co true content company. And I think the great thing about today is that great content will always succeed, no matter what the format is. I think with that, that's a great time to end. Win, thank you very much thank indeed. You, thank you for having us. Thank you.